Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick video to show you how to set up SSO with AppSumit. And in today's video, we'll be using Auxiliary as a provider, but you can expect the technique I'll be showing you in this video to work across all identity providers that you may want to choose from. But there are a few things for you to keep in mind. The first is that this is not going to work for HTTP environments. You need to set up HTTPS and you might need to buy a domain and do a lot of setup. I think we made a video, so I'm going to leave it up linked to the top corner so that you can go check it out and set up for yourself. But if you're on localhost and trying to test this locally i think it's going to work just fine then the other thing to keep in mind is that this might not work behind the reverse proxy i had nginx set up and i just ran into a lot of issues so if you have a reverse proxy set up and you're having similar issues you might want to turn it off and uh, just go without using it uh, those are a few things you want to have in mind and lastly this is a business edition feature that is available for self-hosted users so if you haven't upgraded to the business edition this is going to be a really really good time to do that and in fact we made a video right here so that you can go check out how to upgrade to business edition if you haven't done so already all right so let's get into the video my name is confident and i'm a developer advocate at appsmeet without any delay let's get started all right so taking a look at my dashboard here i am already logged into my business edition self-hosted instance and you can tell from the url this is a very interesting url i have the appsmeet.fun domain and i can actually go into uh, set this up. The other thing you would need is an Auth0 account. I'm already logged into my dashboard. Uh, we'll come back to this, but go ahead to create an account if you haven't done so already. So stepping back, um, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your admin settings page. You have to be an admin user. And when you go over to the authentication section, you have this option to enable SAML 2.0. So go ahead to enable it and these are all of the information you need to set up this configuration from the AppSmith end. So let's go on to Auth0 and actually set things up as well. I'm going to head over to applications and let us create a new app. I'm going to call this app AppSmith SAML, all right? And set this application type to regular web application. All right, so let's create this. All right, so we have the app created and everything we need to do is going to be in the settings pane. So the first thing we want to do is configure the application URIs. And the most important here is setting up the allowed callback URLs. To do that, I'm going to head back to AppSmith, grab the redirect URL. So let's copy this and head back to Auth0 and I can paste this in. If you want to have multiple callback URLs, all you have to do is add a comma and put in another URL. But because we're going to be setting up just one URL for this tutorial, I'm just going to have one in there. The next thing you want to do is go ahead to save this actually because that's all we have to do. So I'm going to save these changes and we're good to go. Then you want to head over to the advanced settings, go to the endpoint tab and what you want to do is to copy the SAML metadata URL. So I'm going to copy this over and let's head over to AppSmith and paste this in. So there are different configurations we can actually use to set this up on the AppSmith site. You can use the metadata URL, which is what we just copied, or you can go with XML or IDP. We're going to be using the metadata URL. So I'm just going to paste this in right here and we can go ahead to save and restart our instance. So this is going to take a minute or two to save the configuration, set everything up and get the instance ready and we'll be back when this is done. Alright, so it looks like this is done and you can see it's telling us the setup was successful. So we can actually go to try this out. I'm going to log out of my instance and some of you notice is now we have this button that says sign in with SAML SSO. So I'm going to go ahead to actually just do that. So let's sign in with SAML. All right, and here it was able to detect my Google account because I already had a previous login from my previous sessions and it's asking me to fill in my details so that AppSnip knows who this user is from the Google login we did earlier. All right, so I'm going to copy over my email. All right, and uh, name is Confidence and last name is Okoyano. All right, so let's submit this. 
and we're logged in we're logging as the same user you saw earlier because we have the exact two apps we had previously i'm just going to try signing out one more time to see if it's actually going to bring up the odd zero screen to select my account so let's let's do that oh it, it, it did not do that i actually already picked it up from the cache all right so that's how easy it is to set up saml sso using appsmith and auth0 if you want to learn more about setting up custom auth using appsmith please go check out this video we made on setting up authentication using postgres role level security and of course you can check out this video to learn how to upgrade to the business edition in fact the business edition gives you a 15 day trial so it's enough time for you to test out all of these features and see if it is worth your coins all right so that'll be all for today's video too i see you next time Take care. Bye-bye.